Hello, today we're looking at angles and parallel lines. So we're gonna be talking vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles, alternate angles, and allied angles. Now I'm gonna break the video down into two parts actually. So this first part is gonna be looking at vertically opposite angles. And in the second video, link down below, we're going to be looking at the other stuff. So vertically opposite, corresponding angles and allied angle. Before we do any of those, uh, let's just review some facts that you will need to know in order to answer these sorts of questions. So first thing, angles in a triangle are gonna add up to 180 degrees, okay? So if you add the three angles in a triangle, they will all add up to 180 degrees. And then secondly, very similar, the angles on a straight line, they will also add up to 180 degrees. Right, that said, let's get stuck into some questions on vertically opposite angles. If we take two lines that are crossing over or intersecting at a point, then we end up creating four angles. You can see those there. And if we rotate one of those straight lines, you can see that the angle increases at the bottom, but it's also increasing at the top as well. It's increasing by the same amount. It must do because, you know, because of the nature of that straight line, there's no way that it can't. So that angle at the bottom is always gonna be the same as the angle at the top. Similarly, the angles opposite each other side by side there, they're always gonna be equal to each other as well. And that's all that the first rule is. We say that those opposite angles are always equal to each other. The, the exact phrase we use is that they are vertically opposite angles. Okay, so vertically opposite. Uh, okay. Vertically opposite means vertical. Oh, okay. Well, vertical, yeah, it does mean kind of on top of each other like yeah. that. But in, yeah, but in this context, it means something different. I suppose if you think about those lines, where they cross over, they cross over at a point. And another word for point is vertex. So vertically, in this, in this context, just means it's to do with that point. So yeah, so even when they're side by side, we still call it vertically opposite. All right, <laughs> let's look at a question um, and we'll see how we can apply that to a particular problem. We've got one angle here that's 35 degrees and we're gonna work out what those other three missing angles are. So straight away, we can see that we've got a vertically opposite angle. So the angle opposite that 35 degrees, well, that's just 35 degrees as well. So that's really, really simple. If you remember back at the start of the video, I mentioned about angles on a straight line adding up to 180 degrees. Well, we can use that to help us with this problem as well. So you can see those two angles, the 35 degrees add, that missing one, they're gonna add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180, subtract 35, that is gonna tell us what the missing angle is. So 180 degrees, subtract 35 degrees is uh, 145. Uh, that tells us what that other missing angle is. And the final one is just vertically opposite that 145. So that's 145 degrees as well. Right, pretty easy, yeah? I'm gonna put up a question and I'll pause it for a couple of seconds so you have a go yourself and then I'll quickly go through the answers in a second. Now, the angle you've got in this question is 97 degrees. So straight away, vertically opposite that, that's 97 degrees as well. Then you've got your straight line. So those two angles are gonna add up to 180. So if I do 180, take away 97, that's gonna tell me what the missing angle is. So that is 83, that other one. And then the final one is just vertically opposite that, so that's gonna be 83 degrees as well. Right, let's look at a slightly different type of question, but it's using the same skills. This question looks a bit different to the previous ones. It looks a little bit harder, but actually it's, it's really not that bad. It's the exact same principles, the same ideas that will help you solve it. Um, and my top tip for these, if you are struggling, if you just can't see what it is you need to do to work out the missing angle, so if you can't find angle A or angle B or whatever, just put that to one side and just think, are there any of these angles I can work out? And very often you will start to just build it up and build it up. And before you know it, you've actually worked out the, the missing one that you were trying to find out. But you don't always need to focus on it straight away. Okay, with that said, 
Let's have a look at this one. I can see that angle B is vertically opposite that other angle that we've been given on the outside of the triangle. So angle B is going to be 48 degrees. Um, angle A, you can see that that's sitting on a straight line. So angle A plus the other one we've been given are going to add up to 180 degrees. So if I do 180, take away 127 degrees, that's going to tell me what angle A is and that is 53 degrees. The so angle A is 53 degrees. Now I can work out the final one, angle C, because we've got those three angles inside the triangle and we know that they are going to add to 180 degrees. So if I add angle A and angle B together, they add up to 101 degrees. And if I now do 180 degrees, take away 101 degrees, that will tell me what that final missing angle is. So it's 79 degrees. So angle C is 79 degrees. So a little bit more complicated, but all the exact same ideas as we looked at in those previous questions. Right, I'm gonna give you another question, very similar to have a go at on your own. Pause the video and I'll be back in a couple of seconds to talk you through that. You can see angle A is vertically opposite that 51 degrees. So angle A is 51 degrees. Angle B, very similar, that's just vertically opposite that 54 degree angle. So angle B is 54 degrees. And then we can't jump straight to finding angle C, but we've got that triangle. So we know that the angles in that triangle are gonna add up to 180 degrees. So 51 degrees, add 54 degrees, add the missing angle, we're gonna make 180 degrees. So 51 add 54 is 105. So if I take that away from 180 degrees, that's gonna tell me what the missing angle is. So 180 degrees, uh, minus 105 degrees is 75 degrees. That is the missing angle in the triangle and angle C is just vertically opposite that. So angle C is also going to be 75 degrees. Okay, I hope you found that useful and now you know everything there is to know about vertically opposite angles. Be sure to check the second part of the video, link down below, uh, where we look at corresponding angles, alternate angles and allied angles.